Hey everybody, we are playing Dark and Light again. So last time we pretty much just built the house, kind of upgraded a couple things. So today we're going to continue and we're going to try to get our first tame today. So let's see, let's put our health up since we're going to have to fight something today. So basically how you get a tame in this game is you shoot it with these kind of, they're called rope arrows, but they're kind of like trank arrows. After you hit them enough, they kind of pass out. You put the trophy next to them, put some food in it, you wait, and then they ended up, then they end up liking you, and you could kind of take them home. We're probably gonna need a couple more of these though, and I'm probably gonna grab some berries and stuff because our first tame is going to be uh, a hog or whatever they're called. So I'm gonna get some materials together. Whoa! I did not realize it became winter. Uh, right before I picked up this game today, there was an update, and I didn't realize what the update was. So, it is apparently winter now. That is kind of cool, actually. Alright, guys, and also, after you tame the animal, you do need a saddle to ride it. Luckily, the boar is on the first level, but to level it up, we either need to tame creatures, craft saddles, or harvest hide. So... Before we can even kind of think of taming it, we should probably unlock the saddle first, which I'll do. Alright, I'm going to put two more chests down over here because I'm already like pretty much running out of room. Cool. And we're almost there. I've still got some stuff to do. Alright guys, to get some hide, we're going to have to kill some bigger creatures. So let's, uh, let's see if we can take care of this big one. What's level? Oh, six. We could kill this one for sure. Might do a little bit... Nope. I was going to say it might do a little bit of damage, but... We even killed it before it could do much. Oh, and that might hurt, but also dead. Alright, cool. Seems like my stats might be a little bit high. Of course, since I'm not playing multiplayer, and playing single player. I turned up a couple of my stats. But, um, yeah. So let's get, let's get to making that saddle. Alright guys, we have leveled up the saddle, so now we have the boar saddle, and we have the horse saddle, although we're not going to be using the horse one. Now, let's see, what do we actually need for the saddle, and do we have it? Um, we, pro oh, we do have it, okay. So let's go ahead and make one of those right now. Actually, let's make two of them in case our thing dies. And we're pretty much ready to go out. Yeah. I'm going to go back home, I'm going to make some arrows, and then we're going to go hunt down our first hog. Okay guys, so we have our trough, we have our arrows, and we have some berries for the hog, which I keep calling it a hog. It's not, it's boar, but I don't know, I keep making that mistake. But right now, let's go and look for one. Okay, and guys, these stone or boulders right here are really, really good. I'm, I'm actually surprised they're that near, but these give copper. Which, we're going to need a lot of copper for different things in the future. So, this is really, really good that we've got, like, a little settlement of copper right here. I'm pretty sure in my last playthrough, I had to, like, ride up when I had, like, flying things all the way up to, like, the mountains to get them. So, that they're right here. That's, that's pretty good. I like it. So, like I said, I played this before and I got pretty far. So, I, I know kind of the layout of the map. Right here, behind this little mountain, the, like, my home is right over there. There's a good settlement of creatures here. Uh, there's a lot of flying things, a lot of stone elementals, a lot of hyenas, but there's also a lot of boars. And then if you go a little bit behind this hill right here, is a lot of like the really, really like bad creatures early game. Uh, but yeah, like there's a stone elemental right there, there's a griffin right there, and these griffins constantly like to harass other creatures. So we can kind of even come up close, as you can see. I think that griffin just died. I think that stone elemental just demolished this griffin. And if you guys look up in the sky and see kind of like the vulture looking creatures, the two headed creatures, the, that is going to be our first mount, uh, our flying mount at least. Those are the earliest flying mounts you can get. Will this thing attack me? Oh god. Oh, we actually, we do a. I was gonna say we'd do a good bit of damage to it, but actually I think that was done by the Griffin. And uh, stone elementals are not something you want to screw with, that's for sure. Okay, so 
We're back at the town. Why is there presents everywhere? Can I get this? Is this a present? A tech. Ooh. Candy. Okay. There actually are items. Okay. Can I? That's kind of cool. I'll. What do the candy canes do? Festive. Festive treat. Okay. I might come back to town and, uh, you know, do a little bit of harvesting then of these things. I don't really know if these, pretty sure these candy canes are just kind of like for fun. But, I mean, those coins, they're relatively hard to get because the NPC, st NPC system is kind of broken. But, um, for now, let's go back to our body and, uh, grab our materials we lost. That's a spider. Uh, I don't like spiders. Hopefully, it just stops following us, huh? Hopefully. Okay, it doesn't look like it's behind us. And is that a boar back there? Well, whatever it is, it's dead now. Uh, we also gotta be careful. There, well, there's something glitching in the distance there. There's also these goblins. What these goblins do, basically, is they hit you. And if you guys have ever played Ark with a Torpor or whatever it's called, it's kind of like consciousness. If they hit you, like, two or three times, you pretty much... You get knocked out, they steal your stuff, and then they run. So, uh... We need to be careful of those little goblin boys, because they will... They will steal my stuff. Okay, so let's go on my body here. Let's take it all back. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Now, let's... Hopefully, there's nothing following me. Let's drop this stuff since we don't really need it. Drop item, drop item, drop item. Okay, and let's make sure... Okay, we gotta make sure the... The, the kind of the tranquilizer arrows are equipped. And let's go find... Uh, boar. Yeah, man, this place is brutal. Look at the... Oh, God, it's coming for me. Why? Stone elementals weren't aggro to humans beforehand. I don't get why they are now. Um... This might be a problem. This might be... This thing's gonna kill me. This might be a... A problem. Looks like we're gonna need to go hunting somewhere else. Oh my gosh, the stone thing is trying to kill a goblin now. We can also tame these goblins, but I need to find that boar. Because that's like the best, well it's not the best, but it's very like standard early game. <gasps> that's a panther, right there. Those things are strong. Those are like the advanced, advanced hyenas. Those things are fast, faster than you could be. Hyenas you can pretty much outrun. Those things you will not outrun. Only way to kill one of those is to uh, kill it back or kind of out of luck. All right. Come on, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. Almost died right there. Almost died. Okay, so there's another panther thingy. Ugh. Yeah. This is just like Ark. The big bad monsters are pretty much everywhere and where you spawn. So there's... I pretty much just need to avoid those for my life. I keep finding these longhorns, but these longhorns... <gasps> there's a boar. Okay, cool. There it is right there. That is the thing that we were looking for. What I was about to say is these longhorns, they're not really like... They're so hard to tame because you need to like hit them so many times. So this boar is right here. Now we're going to have to... We got to remember, when it's taming, it's defenseless. So I'm going to make sure it's safe around here. So I'm going to go and kill these two. Hopefully they don't kill me in the process, but... Okay, there we go. Both of them are down. I'm going to collect their stuff, and then we're going to go ahead and try to get them. We'll equip our bow. Cooking, there we go. Level 3 cooking. Now... I'm going to eat a little bit before we go, because I'm going to need my health at full. 
before we do this because I haven't really tamed a boar yet. I mean, at these kind of stats here, so I don't know if it'll like one hit me or <laughs> just like truck me. All right, let's see. So let's kind of ugh, start it and then wham, hit it once. Oh, and see, it'll kind of have this attack. Oh, that does hurt it quite a bit. Okay, it's not letting me get away. Wow. See, I did not expect this. This thing is fast. Or, I don't know if it was, like, glitching, but, wow, this thing is... Has some speed on it. And I'm gonna have to... S oh, see, even to stop and shoot... I can't even stop and shoot back because the thing... Is just gonna... Ugh. Okay, let's try to go back quickly, grab our stuff, and try to keep hitting it. But yeah, man, this stuff's no joke. But, yeah, I mean, those boars have some speed on them. Okay, so it seems like the boar is still here. And it's still... And it shouldn't be aggro. Boars are passive, I'm pretty sure. Let's take everything out. And let's go back to hitting it. Oh, a little bit of lag. Okay, let's we'll have to be careful, though. Why is it so fast right in the beginning? It is it is too fast. It shouldn't be that fast right away. Ah. See why? And like I'm getting like stuck inside of its body. I'm literally getting stuck inside of its body. I can't hit the thing when it trucks me if I get stuck inside of it. Ah, <sighs> but this I mean, like I said, this game is super buggy. I yeah. I mean there's not much I could say. All I have to do is hope the boar is still there. Okay, it is still there. I don't know what its unconscious levels are, though. Ugh, but this is so annoying. Okay. Well, let's, let's keep trying. We need this boar. And if we can't tame this, we're never going to be, be able to tame anything. See, it's... <gasps> oh, I get it. I kept forgetting. I have to put the arrows down. I have to put the arrows down. I completely forgot about that. Okay, then that's my bad. I, I've been messing this entire thing up. At the same time, though, its hit distance is a little far, in my opinion. Oh, it's out, it's out, it's out. Okay. Cool. It is knocked out. That was... Ugh. Right, so we gotta put the trough down. I'm pretty sure the boar likes berries. It is not a carnivore. So place these things in there. And now we wait. Now we wait. But, yeah, that was my bad. I kept forgetting to put the arrows down. Because if I don't, it'll... Like I said, kind of stick to me. And then let's put our weight up a couple levels. Let's put our health up a couple levels. There we go. And it should be taming pretty fast. Yeah. So now we pretty much got to stand by. Make sure... Doesn't get killed, but yeah, pretty much got this. And then we have the saddle on us, right? Yep, we have the saddle. We can eat these. Hopefully, they restore some health here. And we're pretty much good here. All right, we have unlocked the bedroll, the resurrection altar, which is pretty much like a spawn point, and a bonfire, which is new to me actually. I I didn't think I saw that item so it must be new okay guys he should be tamed in the next one when he hits about 270 on that one bar that's going down nice okay so that is our first tame a caps lock is on let's name him not Tucker Tusker there we go except and now yeah he's just like a tame just like an arc kind of press E on him and you have this little thingy and then uh, equip saddle to ride. So let's go to his inventory. Let's equip a saddle on him. And bam, there we go. Now we can ride him. Just like that. Now, real quick, let me go and pick up my stuff out of here. Take all. I wonder, can I? Uh, I guess we just have to demolish it, right? So, the reason I wanted to get him so early, you might be wondering, why, it, why did you want to get him so early? Now, this guy's almost full, so real quick. Let me put some stuff away, and then I'll show you guys why. Okay, guys, so let's grab him, and he still has an arrow in his leg. Now, 
if I ever want to get materials, instead of going around with an axe or shovel and breaking them and fixing them, I can pretty much just go over here and click right click. And then I run around and grab pretty much anything in my sight, whether that's straw, wood, stone. I mean, or I could just go do this, but I find it easier just to kind of run through a giant field and just click right click. Now, he will get tired. But as we do this more, we'll level him up further, and then we'll increase his stamina, and then we could do this for longer. Now, here's the one problem with this game, in my opinion, is your tames can die so easily because, like, random bad stuff like Reapers and Skeletons will spawn right next to your home, and they'll just, like, ransack the place and kill everything. But the next thing we're going to do is actually build a little home for them. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, and I, this is what happens when you use it too much, though. It kind of gets knocked out. But, yeah, so we pretty much need to wait for this to go all the way down. And that's going to be, like, a good six, seven minutes. But, yeah, it's my fault for overdoing it. This could be really good or really bad. These meteors have loot in them. But they land with bad guys. My boar might be in danger. There it is. There's the bad guy. Okay, that thing will one-shot me. I can guarantee it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it away from the boar. And there's a reaper all the way over there. I just realized. Alright, well, we're going to... We're going to make the the bony boy come over here to the villagers. And sometimes they actually hold good stuff. But I'm telling you this right here, these things are not something to joke with. They will one-shot you. Like, I'm telling you right now, this is like a public announcement right now. If you start this game and you see one of these early on, don't don't fight it. I thought, oh, it's a skeleton. Skeletons are usually weak in games. Uh, no, this, this thing will one-shot you. What's even worse is those reapers over there. Those things are even harder than these things. But, oh, I almost got shot by the arrow. Yeah, see... Everything else took one arrow. This thing took a good, like, six, seven arrows. These things are beefy. But they do have loot on them, like that boar saddle. If I would have got that before I could get a boar, that would have been some good stuff right there. And it technically still is. Because my boars can die still. And then, if, let's say, I die with it somewhere far away and can't get a hold of it... Well, there you go. I have another one. But let's go grab this rock right over here. Like I said, they usually have some good stuff. But I do got to be careful of that Reaper. That thing will kill me. It's probably fighting piranhas right now, which is kind of hilarious. Can I get into it? I need to be level 25 to get it. Okay, well, there you go. I can't even actually get inside of it. Now, let's make sure... Okay, we actually see his name through the walls. Okay, good. I was going to say, let's make sure... Um, He's alive. His, his uh, constitution's coming back slowly. Looks like the Reaper actually just died. I think the Piranhas finally got to him. Alright guys, we have unlocked the Fireball. So that's going to be something else we have to play with because... Like I said, a lot of these monsters are very hard to kill just because you can't sword fight them because they'll one-shot you. But with Fire Magic like Fireball, we'll be able to kind of hit them from far away. And that'll make even fighting those Skelly Boys a little bit easier. Still a bit impossible, but a bit easier. Alright, we've unlocked a bunch of the leather armor, which isn't too much better, so it's nothing to get too excited about, and his constitutionalism something is almost done, so we'll be able to ride him back. Alright, the boar is back. Let's quickly ride it to our house, and then we've got something planned. So one thing that I did want to do this episode is kind of build a home for our Thames. Now that I'm thinking about it, we could probably just store the Thames inside of our house. Because right now we only have one. I think probably next episode when we get some more, we are going to have to build something bigger, like a separate home. But for now, I'm pretty sure yeah, I could just ride this boy right in here. And nothing's going to tear my house down. I put the, like, the integrity of buildings pretty high, so a wolf isn't going to come in here and destroy and kill this thing. But what we will do is we haven't really done much adventuring. We kind of just went around. So he, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything valuable away. I'm just going to pretty much grab maybe my bow and some arrows. And we're going to go explore. 
Also, we have to remember that the boar itself, once we do that, we have to empty it. Oh, not right on it, but actually empty it because... Uh, let's see, search. It's got... Well, right now it doesn't have too much stuff. But we will have to empty it every time we do that. So basically, I'm going to go out and purposely die. But I just kind of want to adventure. Okay, guys. So basically, all I'm going to take with me is a bow... 50 arrows, source of light, and some food. That's pretty much it. And like I said, we're kind of, this is like a little bit of a suicide mission, but I kind of just want to see if there's anything new in the game, obviously. So we're going to go back around to where we first tamed it, and we're just going to kind of run through. So, we, so we're going to have to be a little bit more careful than usual, just because I want to get a little farther than usual. Like, we're going to have to really be careful for those panther. There's a griffin right there. Those things are going to be a really big nuisance. Those are waverns, right? Waverns? Wavern. Uh, those are going to be a little bit like later game tames, flying tames. First will be those two-headed vultures. And then once we get a little bit further, we will get those waverns, wyverns. But wyverns are a little bit harder to get because um, with the two-headed vultures, they don't fly very fast. You could hit them. And they attack you back. Those Waverns, they fly very fast. They're hard to hit. And they do not attack you back. They kind of just run away. So so far, so good. We haven't really met anything cool. But at the same time, it's probably not good. Because that's kind of what I'm here for. Okay, there's... I thought, first I thought that was like Leopard. But no, there's just two more Boars. Which we're just going to leave alone. And uh, have a good day. Now, there are some mythical creatures in this game. Actually, I could probably show you. Where is the bestiary? Okay, here we can kind of... This is kind of like a little cheat. I, I don't know. This is kind of cool. They kind of show you everything in the game already. So, there are some, like, mythical creatures, like the Pegasus and then the Sacred Griffin. And there's a lot of cool creatures here. Yeti, Deadly Spider. So, as we play, we're going to be filling that bestiary slowly. Which is kind of cool. So in this game, there are like preset houses, just kind of like, just like towns, except these are smaller. But sadly, this is kind of another one big thing about the game. I wish they would expand this stuff because, well, and like I said, technically I could be cheap. Just come over to these houses and kind of like build a base around here, which I don't really want to do. Uh, can I open this door? Okay, well, you can go inside of some of the houses. Maybe I'm missing something, but... Oh, there's a griffin going at it with something. But, oh, that's not good. If that thing sees me, I'm dead. Okay, I'm running this way. Like, oh, don't get stuck now. We got to get away. But you can't really go ins. Oh, well, you can go inside. Okay, let's try this one. This one doesn't... Oh, okay, maybe... Th ah, I thought it didn't have a door. Come on, why don't you let me go inside? Uh, huh? So this bridge is kind of weird. I don't really know what's up with this bridge. And there's a meteor out in the distance. That's kind of cool. I actually kind of lost track of where I am. So the city is over there, right? Because there's the mountain. And meaning... Okay, and if you guys see that big tree in the distance, that's where a lot of spiders are. A lot of a lot of strong stuff is over there, so maybe I might head over there. And then there's a golem fighting a griffin, so that's kind of cool. Now it looks like the griffin is winning that battle. Oh god, it's after me! Die. No! I needed one more shot on the stupid thing. Okay, well, I guess that ends our adventure for today, guys. I think I'm just going to start picking up these presents because they have coins and stuff in them, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I'm going to end off the episode there. Next time, we'll either build a shelter for some tames, try to get uh, maybe a flying tame, but of course, they don't have the saddle, so we'll have to level up for those. But yeah, what is that? Why is it doing that? 
Hold on, I gotta check this out now. And the mountain's moving. Oh god. So weird. Why is it doing that? I know this is a you can rent these houses, but can I like not walk through here? That is That is odd. Maybe it's like player protection, or maybe you can't like PvP in here or something. I don't know. But guys, and that's gonna be one goal that we have to get to. There's a lot of good stuff up there, so we're gonna have to get up there once we get a flying mount. But guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment, add support to the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.